All right, so let's talk a little bit about Houdini in a metaphorical sense. Who is Houdini? Houdini is five foot three. He's, although born in America, he's considered at this time period an outsider, Hungarian. He's an immigrant at a time when more immigrants were coming into the country than ever before. He's a minority, he's Jewish. So already you have a lot of things that people in that time viewed as stacked against you. He was an outsider, he wasn't thought of as American. And yet, somehow, he became America's first superstar. And he really was, that's not a, really even a debatable statement. He was America's first superstar because although there were people who were famous actors on the stage and later in silent pictures, they were famous for portraying other people, other powerful people. Houdini was famous for who he was. And who was he? He's this small Jewish immigrant, but chains can't hold him. He can escape from anything. That's an unbelievable metaphor given the time period. This isn't a time when most people are feeling repressed. Most people are feeling like there's a ceiling to how high they can rise. Here's a man without education, without any money. It's the ultimate rags to riches story. Now something else. Look at this picture. There's no date on this picture, but I'm going to put Houdini at about 28, 29, 30 years old. So it's right at the turn of the century, 1900, 1905. He's depicted almost naked. He's wearing some kind of loincloth that's blocked just by the shadows of his hands, we hope. But here he is, naked, and he's allowed to have this picture appear when he's performing for kids. Think of the time period. If you watch Boardwalk Empire, you know the propriety of the time. It's very rigid. It's very formal. And yet, he's allowed to be de depicted with no shirt on, in jails, posed, with no clothes on. That's the power of Houdini. It transcended culture. It transcended uh, rules and regulations of what was accepted. He was Houdini, and he was larger than all of it. Now, you wonder, how did he do it? How did he do all this stuff? And I'm reminded of one of my favorite movies. You know this movie, uh, Catch Me If You Can? Frank Abagnale impersonates a pilot, a doctor, all these crazy things, and there was always a catch. There was always a gimmick. How did he escape? Well, that question to me is sort of like when they ask Frank Abagnale, how did you pass the bar in Alabama? How did you do it? And at the end of the movie, Tom Hanks, who asked the question, he says to Tom Hanks, I studied and I passed. And that's a little bit like Houdini with escapes. There isn't just one secret. Houdini was a master escape artist. He invented the genre for all purposes. And you can see a collection here of the leg irons and the irons that he used with his hands. And he learned a lot about these. He knew how to escape. He knew how to regurgitate keys. He was a master of escape. So although the magic that he did had a secret, those things were to a degree very real.